Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Kat from Ohio DIY and I'm really excited about today's video. Um, I've been sent the fill and squeeze to review. So I've not paid for it, but it's genuinely something that I've thought about and wondered if it existed um, since we've been weaning. I've tried really hard to make all of Theo's food. I didn't want to go down the um, sort of bought pouches route. You know, it's fine if you do, no judgment from me. Um, but, you know, I like to know where things have come from, what goes into making it, and, you know, making sure that he um, gets all the best nutrients possible. Um, but I've had to give in a few times because either um, I've not been able to defrost something to take out with me, or you know, I didn't have space in my bag, or you know, that sort of thing. So this is a way that you can make your own pouches at home. Um, so all you need to do is then just make them up, and then you can just keep them in your bag for when you do go out, if you need them. Fabulous. So I'm really excited and really hope um, it's a good thing. This is the first time I'm using it on the video, um, so you will try it along with me here. Um, so what we're gonna use for the recipe is that I have made this chicken pie puree. You will be able to find the, uh, the recipe for this in the details below. Um, that was a different video that I did. Um, yummy and great for you and baby. Um, so we are going to try and put this in pouches um, with the fill and squeeze. Okay, so one unfortunate immediate downside is the instructions that it's come with, whilst they do have pictures, um, the text is blurred. I'm not sure if that's because I've just got a sample. Um, so I can't actually read it. So I'm going to have to just use my instincts um, and, you know, sort of follow it the best that I can. It can't be too difficult to use. Okay, so you make your puree. Um, mine was already blended in the um, instructions. It says you can pour it in and use your hand blender in there, but I don't need to do that. So pour it in here. Into your main tub and then you use the plunger without the green thing on it um, just to squish it all around make sure that it's fully made up just get all of that off there Oops. and then it comes with this rubber sort of cover fill and squeeze branding on it um, that you put on the end of here so um, I'll just go and rinse this off all rinsed and dried and then now we just put this inside the rubber cover uh, so that's so it's all nice and secure so it catches everything as it goes down then you unscrew one of the pouches like so so you unscrew the top off there it comes with five pouches, um, which I think is really good because that's plenty for your needs. I think you can buy more if you want to. So then you undo the little stopper from there and just attach your pouch on. It just pushes on. So make sure that's nice and tight. Your pouch is then attached. And then you get your plunger and then it fits nice and tightly in there. And it goes all the way down. And then just squeeze it through. Squeeze it down, squeeze it through. Now, Okay, so the first attempt there obviously wasn't very successful, but let's learn from that. So what happened then was I pushed it down from the top, it cut all the air in it, pushed the pouch up and then it couldn't get any food in because it was clogged with air. So what I'm going to do is just angle it as I put it down so it's right near the food, then drop it down. And then let's try and squeeze the food into the pouch. Round two. So my next attempt was no more successful, so what I'm going to do is just follow what it does on the packet and just blend it in here, just in case it's a bit too thick for the thing. Just add a 
tiny bit of um, oat milk into there, just to loosen it a bit, see if that helps. Okay, so now that's all finely blended. So we'll try again with putting it in the pouch. Put the pouch on there. And again, it's just filling up with air if I do that, so let's... There we go, that's better. So, squeeze that down. And then you can squeeze the food and you can feel that going through. Right, so you need to squeeze a bit out because it's only supposed to be three quarters full. Take that out and then you can put your top back on. So we'll just do that again to make sure that it's worked. So that's one full pouch there. You can see that they've got the little monkey design on. Um, and then on the back, there is space here for writing down the date that you did it and then what's in it, which is useful. That then washes off, obviously. So open another pouch. And just pop that on there. Move the bowl out of the way now. Okay, so remembering not to catch the air, so tip it, push it down at an angle. And then just all squeezes into the pouch nice and easily. So yeah, obviously my initial pure rate was a bit too thick. So it does still catch air in it, um, which you need to be careful of, because obviously you want it to be full of food and not full of air. Um, but again, just squeeze it down and then you can just squeeze a tiny bit out back into the thing, pull it off and then fasten it again. That's two. And then there's still some in there. Each pouch holds 150 ml it says. Um, so then your final one, push that on and then just squidge it down so that all the sort of leftovers in the bottom or get pushed into the pouch. So that is by the feel of it mostly air. So let's see how much is left. Right, there's actually that's really interesting. So there's a tiny bit of food in there, not really enough to warrant a whole pouch, if I'm honest. But if you see, it's literally all gone into the pouch. There's only a tiny, tiny bit left at the bottom, which I think is really good because there's no wastage there. Um so what you could probably do is just so I'm just squeezing that into this pouch I'm just topping it up with what's left and then these are reusable so once you've used a pouch then you just wash it and you can use it again which I think is really good because five should be plenty um, or you, like I say, you can buy more. So that one's a bit fuller than that one now. Um, you will, I guess, come to know as you use it um, how full to fill your pouches. Um, it also comes with this wire brush, the bendy wire brush, so you can get right into the nooks and crannies, right into the pouches to get everything nice and clean, ready for the next use, which I think is really good. Um, that's particularly useful because I was quite concerned about how you sort of got the pouches clean and this is how. Um, what you can also do is you can reuse other pouches so if you have Ella's Kitchen pouches or Annabelle Carmel pouches or you know sort of the supermarket ones you can actually wash those out and use them with this as well which I think is really really useful as well because then you don't have to you know rebuy these you can just buy ones from the supermarket use the food and then recycle them so we had a couple of false starts there with um getting everything working you do have to have a really smooth puree for this um which is good in the early stages of weaning um but obviously later on when babies are eating chunkier food you don't necessarily want to be giving them really really smooth puree so that is a bit of a downside um, however, I do think the whole system is really, really good, um, really useful 
to be able to make your own pouches and also recycle the other pouches which I think is a really fab idea. I didn't realise that that would be possible. I thought you'd have to use the ones that came with the unit and you don't. Uh, so yeah, that's totally brilliant. Um, it is £28 on Amazon currently for the fill and squeeze. So it is a bit of an investment but the benefit that it comes with, honestly, I'm so impressed that this is an actual thing that exists um, because it's, it is really, really useful. Um, it's just easy and convenient um, and yeah, I'm a big, big fan of this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what you think about the fill-in squeeze. If you'd like to see more from me, then please do subscribe to my channel. Um, I will leave all the details below and a link to where you can buy it if you'd like to. And I will see you soon. Bye!